So when it comes to our stewardship, know the truth, understand our role. Let's go to the O. Let's look at just how truly offensive it is. God's word tells us that he is no respecter of persons, says that every child of God, every adopted one is expected to live all in, totally surrendered, that we embrace and thank him for our role as slave. Where you read in your Bible, servant or bondservant, the word oftentimes you'll find is doulos. Doulos is a slave term. It means that we've been bought and redeemed by the blood of our Lord. And we're to say, thank you, Lord Jesus. And I want to ask you, what kind of bargaining power does a slave have with the master? Zero. The slave prays that he or she has a good master. And that's the thing, friends. If you're a true Christian, as you live your life, as one who is a slave who's been given responsibilities from the master, you do only what the master would want. And here's one of the things. Our master, as a Christian, our master has given us provision and promise and power. But at no time has he said that self-preservation should be prioritized. At no time does he say that what I have given you is for you or about you. Everything that I have given you has come through grace, bought with my son's blood, for the purpose of you fulfilling the Great Commission. You will be my witness, and you will go and make disciples. Nothing else, nothing else fits the job description and the responsibility. Everything that he has done and graced us with is for the purpose of bringing him glory. I've said to you before, and, and again, I, I, I don't mean to offend, but I'm willing to. You don't want to sit before Jesus and have an impressive portfolio left behind down here. I have people in my family that I love that have impressive portfolios. And they think that they've been building building walls like fortresses to protect and to provide. What they've been building are walls of a coffin. You don't want to sit before the king with an impressive portfolio left behind. You want to come and say, Lord Jesus, I did what you told me to do. I was who you called and created me to be, and I was all about your kingdom, nothing else. For your glory and by your grace. God demands that you and I, if we are true Christians, that we embrace being a brave slave. I'm all in. It's all yours It's all about you, and I will go with the courage you give me, with the commitment that you sustain, wherever, whenever, however, no matter what. Now, let me tell you, if you're the king or queen of your own little world, that's offensive. That's downright offensive. Jesus calls for an offensive transformation by worldly standards. You are never going to be standing right with God and right with the world at the same time. You and I have to choose. It's an offensive fork in the road.